I can see what those dinner table conversations were like. You and your brother, who's a uh, who's a lawyer. I think both of you were, in a way, influenced deeply by your father more than your Absolute, mother. Absolute. Well, I I think my mother also, in a very large part, I think our emotional, uh, our EQ is largely shaped by our mother uh, because I think how your emotional responses to situations are equally important, if not your intellectual uh, and your your intelligent responses, I suppose. But I think. Um, so uh, even on sh issues like this, you know, there is there's a constant disagreement. I mean, as far as the as far as uh, foreign policy and, and military matters are concerned, I'm slightly right of center, uh, and my father is you know has, has slightly different views. And, and we've been encouraged to have these views, uh, Rajdeep. And about role modelship, both Sherbir and I have been lucky that we've never had to look outside for a role model because we've had a father who's an intellectual giant, and uh, who who doesn't just uh, tell you things. He just sort of He's always taught by example. When he taught us things like honesty, integrity, propriety, he is living that life. Um, one of the reasons that he's able to call a spade a spade uh, throughout his career and yet right rise to the top is because he was scrupulously honest. And that's a uh, in every which way, from a, from a propriety standpoint, from an integrity standpoint. No, he was demonstrating what it is like to be that way. He wasn't telling us be honest, but not being honest on the side and he encouraged debate fully he All i the mean time. Uh, you you could be a dissenter right we could you yes, didn't have to follow that's not quite you didn't popular have, in india but you didn't right have now. to follow general <laughs> sahab you didn't have no, to say no we didn't have to we didn't have to in fact on twitter itself i think some people uh, my 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 friends on the right side take great pleasure in pointing father and daughter or oh, daughter thinks this and father thinks this and the thing is you know we are two individuals who may have the same um, dna but out the viewpoint uh, on, on certain issues can, can slightly diverge and yeah. we've always been encouraged to have a distinct viewpoint. Because you know what we are missing in the world today is nuance. You know everything is black and white. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Uh, whatever view you take you have to tell us are you with us or with them. Does that trouble you uh, General because you are on Twitter and Twitter is a medium which is thrives on black and white polarities. So nuance gets missing. I mean not too many generals will be on Twitter as aggressively as you are. I look forward to your tweets. Well, I, I, I am very active on social media. I think, in fact, uh, social media taught me how to uh, interact with the public. Till then, I was leading a cocoon life. Till, till, uh, till, I, till 2009, August, in fact, she put me on to uh, Twitter. Ah. I, was, <laughs> I was leading a cocoon life. Military, I knew military and well and everything and all, sheltered life. And we had hardly interacted with anybody outside. In fact, I had never really been to the market as such, but that job was done by my wife. <laughs> so now when I started interacting on social media and I interacted with a whole lot of people, you know, and then, I, then I, I became very comfortable with what I was discussing. And then my pet refrains, of course, dissent, I mean the army also, dissent is not offense, we agree to disagree. So I learned all that. And I have uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. In fact, I think uh, it has made my personality grow. Social media made my personality grow. In fact, social media put me onto writing. So he's reinvented simplif himself. Simplify, also reinvented. But you know, I must tell you here, how much resistance to the idea of writing, Rajdeep? How much resistance? No, I don't want to write. I don't have time. And I was like, you're retired. What do you mean you don't have time? No, but I, I get the sense this is a family which believes in reinvention. I mean, you're, de you know, you're married to a pilot. Uh, but you're a certified pilot yourself, so you've, you've taken the time off over the years to do lots of things with life. Do you believe that's the way you keep yourself energized by constantly reinventing, whether as a writer and author or whether in different roles as you do? I think as an individual, if you don't grow, and again, this is a very different line spoken as, a, you know, as somebody who's been around 20 years and what I spoke as a Miss India, that, oh, it's very important to grow and it's, uh, it's, it's important to keep evolving but I can actually look back today and 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 acknowledge the importance of that growth because you've got to pursue your goals you've got to have goals so evolving is is a byproduct of having goals and chasing those goals otherwise the dreams just remain dreams so I don't see it as evolution I just see it as goal setting and then going out there and systematically chasing your goals and those goals then you know turn into many other things because you know there was a stereotype of Miss India when they were asked who's your role model they said Mother Teresa <laughs> ah you said it before I did good yes. so you but must have been told yes her punch line yes her punch line for Miss India contest yes what was, was it? Given, Again, given by, by dad me. Ah, what was that I'm an incredible optimist for me every day is a new challenge something ah. more to be done 
something new to be achieved. Oh, so that was the one line that made you miss India. It's because every day is a challenge. I mean, the day you think you have it made is where something comes and slaps you in the face. Sure. So if you see it as a challenge, life just becomes that much more interesting and exciting.